But yeah, as you can see, it still uses the core harness right here. It bends the freaking harness. Like, it still bends. And if I dig through my boxes... Yeah, I'll never get... I'll never understand why they had to make it bend when they could have just, like, slit... They could have wet with, like, that regular design but made the wires come out, like, from the top. Like, instead of from, like, a very awkward angle. Yeah, and I every have time no you... Idea. With and I just noticed every time you take the wire harness off, every time you take the wire harness off, it scrapes the sticker. That's a, that's also another thing. And the, the wire harness is probably my biggest gripe with those units. Like to tax and see wires, my biggest gripe is that right there, the harness. Just the harness alone is just troublesome. So yeah. Um, first, we'll come. It fix some more problems, but like when you can, when you're replacing the batteries, you have to take the whole thing off, take it off the harness. Because I don't think you can even open the battery door with the wire harness plugged in. No, you can't. There's a freaking guard. I think an extra barrier, so you have to take the whole thing off, and then you have to do a bunch of all this stuff. I don't like that. Unlike like, a just, certain, just unlike the a... front load battery, like please. Make like an IB, but with IBA factors. Or at least make the freaking, maybe you should have inverted the photoelectric sensor like you did on the freaking P4010s and have this as like a pop open battery door. That could have, that could have also. There's so much better ways that, that those these units could have been handled. There's so many better options, but they just went with like, they just downgraded to the worst way possible. Yeah, and here, I'm going to take it off the tripod so you guys can see this better. Here is a comparison between an IB. Okay. Here is the IB right next to the C the CUAR. So, obviously, the piezo and speaker formats are the exact same. This is piezo. This is piezo. This is speaker. This is speaker. So, it's basically the same thing. But, as James said in his QAR review... This is now fighting for smoldering fires. Meanwhile, the previous That's generation... Another thing. That's another thing. They completely took out the ionization sensor from what they were replacing. And you know what's weird? They got rid of the... What? They call it a new look. It's a new look, and it, like, yeah, yes, that's uh, that's also a thing. When they were advertising it, I initially thought it was going to be so much larger, because that one photo that we had, that one exclusive photo at the time, like, two years ago. It was so way bigger than the IBA. It was, it's really funny. It probably could have been even bigger than the IBA. I would have lost my mind if that thing was that large in that photo. Now that you say that, there it is right on top of the IBA. It's smaller in size, but it's a lot thicker. Yeah, that's the thing. Look at that. Because of the sticking out sensor, which I also despise. I don't like that move. Because and the fact it has no bug grill. No bug grill. The bug grill is probably the biggest. The bug grill is the, probably the biggest mistake. But I think the detect kind of makes up for it, so it kind of reduces the nuisance alarms. The detect is okay. I will but say on a regular quar, on a regular quar, it just doesn't work. Regular quars, no. Detects are better. This is literally re it this is what regular quars deserve. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, you freaking quar. Yeah, that was just a regular C way R. Um, yeah, I might um, uh, at some point just get a kid to detect and review it because honest, it has a lot more features than what we initially got. Because clearly, when they released the quars and cruds, they were unfinished. Yeah, very unpolished. So like uh, that explains why I'm pretty. Mine came with like it came with. I don't remember. Did it come with? I'm, I'm I'm uncultured. Did my quar come with a like? I know it didn't come with the um uh, pop it the popping plastic sensor cover. 
instead of the actual dust cover or nothing at all i don't remember what it came remember. with I a plastic it dust cover. cover it didn't come with the the plastic one that they use now yeah okay so so i was right so that yeah that was like because they would those those regular dust covers wouldn't work so at the time when the cores first came out Clearly, you can tell it was unfinished. And heck, because even my core came with that plastic bag. It gave you the shower cap, so. Mm -hmm. But but they tell how unfinished it was. Like the the the, the voice the, the voice wasn't changed yet. The dust cover wasn't changed. It didn't have any of its improved features. Including, I guess, even the sensor, the detect, and all that. The diagnostics feature is another thing. Yeah, and, oh yeah. The IB is just so much cleaner. Like, a so much user-friendly interface. Yes, it is a lot more, it, it is a lot more user-friendly. I will agree on that. I still don't like the new look. Um, the front load battery is still such a downgrade. Still the harness is a pain in the butt. Well, speaking of front load battery, now let's compare it against the biggest rival, which was claimed as a new look for this model. The IBA. The IBA. In fact, the IBAs are currently being used in our house right now. So yeah. After I heard about after I heard about the BAs and the IBAs doing false seal alarms, I'm replacing all my smoke lines with police C manuals. So you aren't seeing Kitta in the next year or so. Yeah, but here's the thing. Even though these would false, these were really good units. They had front load battery doors. They had easily plug and play so they can replace an IB. They had freaking double A's, which is something that everybody was complaining about and asking for. It was perfect. This? Yeah, especially to the fact, well, yeah, that's also, that's the thing from the IBs to the IBAs. Because they went from the I, the I, I'm not talking about the cancers of B's to BAs, because that's a whole different story. The IB took a nine volt. Yeah. So they changed that. To double A's, which is a lot more user friendly. You know what? I think the Quars are actually a new look of the freaking Copic. I wouldn't even think the Quars are a new look of the Copic. Quars is a whole different thing. In fact, when I asked for a Copic replacement, they sent me a Quar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna. I want. I want a BA replacement. This is me a freaking crud. They sent me a freaking XTRBA for a co Cope D at one time. So. Yeah, the, 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 the IBAs were like one of the most successful arms of all time. I know. They sold a lot. But, and they you didn't even have to do that much. It was literally just plug and play. Oh, by the way, you're, in your review, you said they couldn't fit on the BA mounting bracket. Well check this out look at this it looks awful you got a snazzy retrofit right there <sighs> but you see the tamper resist pins that's the most triggering part that's triggering when you see the tamper resist pins when you're home searching when you find a kit of detector 900 cyr and you see those tamper resist <laughs> Because they replaced a freaking IB. Anyway. IBA. Yeah, that was the overview of this unit. Thank you guys for watching. And... Not, really, not really overview, but like... Wait, you didn't stop recording yet, right? No, I didn't stop. No. Well, I will say that wasn't really an overview. It was just both of us yelling at each other about the... The freaking kind of detect cores, BAs, and Bs. Yeah, so maybe I, I should just... Over. I call it... I call it James and I draw yelling at each other about kid is attacked. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that should be the title. Yeah. James and James and I draw like yelling about kid is attacked for ten minutes straight. All right. Bye. <laughs>